So, my dear viewers, you all may know me as the guy who makes videos of medieval games, or you may even be the minority that saw me from my robot vids. Sometimes, I like to go and check out games that are really different, like Idol Manager, and in this video, I'll show you guys how I managed to survive in unfair difficulty. First things first, you should choose your early investments carefully. The first floor that you occupy in this game, practically speaking, costs you nothing in rent per week. During the beginning, I'd build the office for my character and a break room. In this game, the producer is capable of practically doing nearly all the things that you must do for an idol group. The only thing the producer is capable of doing decently is providing lyrics for singles, concepts for medias, and finally, producing events like concerts. But he can do other things, albeit rather poorly. Break Room to me is very important because it lets five of your idols recover five points of physical stamina every day. It might not seem like a lot, but consider that daily activities involves everyone in the idol group and costs three stamina per day. There's plenty of non-routine activities that will use up huge amounts of stamina, and being able to recover quickly without having to spend money on spa treatments is huge, to say the least. Spa treatments also uses up an entire day, so not only will you save money from constructing a break room early on, you also save time. Early on, what I'd like to do is to get three idols. You don't need a good audition early on. Just pick the best three out of the five girls you find in the 100,000 yen audition. What you want to do starting out is to make your girls promote the idol group, whilst you research lyrics for the demographic you're going for. Frankly, my favourite demographic in this game are the hardcore fans. They are far more likely to buy singles and are far more likely to attend concerts as well. I'd advise you to go and choose digital release for your earlier singles in this game, since they don't cost you anything but time. It also lets you unlock level 2 performance, which allows you to further reduce the amount of money you lose per week from wages and rent. Don't forget to buy the research points to unlock the genres and choreography you want by the way, instead of constructing a recording room or a dance room and hire staff for researching over time. Since those are very huge investments and will only start to pay off once you have a decent number of fans. My strategy in this game largely revolves around releasing singles, since as long as you pick the right genres and target the right demographics, you will start to snowball rather quickly in income and fans. Be careful with who you choose to be on the front of the cover, as the one you choose will be the preferred centre of the single in the concert. And if you rotate your members for singles, they will provide the maximum amount of hype regardless of their skill in vocal or dance. Once my group has gotten enough fans, then I'd start constructing either a dance or a recording room. I'm not going to build both at the same time, since a million yen goes a long way at the start. Honestly, I'm somewhat leaning towards picking a dance or song producer at the start since the idols I start with tend to be on the lower rarity side, so they're not going to be that much more amazing even when trained. And that's all I did in order to stay afloat in unfair difficulty, really. I'm not a huge fan of using the manager for deals since they don't spread out the fatigue use across all members, nor am I a big fan of actually using media since they tend to not be that profitable at the start. Plus, they also use up fatigue, which could be better spent on concerts or singles. I hope this video was useful, or at the very least amusing. If it was, please subscribe and as always, have a great time.